What's up guys? I am so glad you're here. My name's Chad. This is Worship Leader Hangout. And today we're going to go to Faith Goose Creek in Goose Creek, South Carolina because my friend Taylor that works there showed me their live stream solution. It's awesome. And when I saw it, I was like, I've got to show you guys. Um, now this is uh, an option that's not necessarily the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. I mean, it's it, it's such a great thing. And uh, I wanted to show you because I feel like it could be an option for your church that you may not know about. And I wanted everybody to know about it. Let's go over Faith Goose Creek. But before we go over there, know that there are links in the description to all the gear that Taylor's gonna talk about. And uh, I'll put time codes beside those so you know exactly uh, where those fall in the video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go to Faith. And remember, great worship leaders are always learning. I'll see you over there. We're about to run out of light. Stop. We really are. Go. We'll do it fast. So, hey, uh, this is our camera setup as far as our lower thirds and our streaming and everything. So we'll start over here at the camera. Okay. So we've got a Canon Vixia. What is this? This is the HF G21. And so this is my favorite camera for the application that we're doing it. It's just really, really great. So coming out of the camera, we go into, we're starting our Sling Studio setup right here. So. Um, this is a camera link, which is wirelessly connected to the hub, which is the sling hub in the, in the booth. And so we come out from HDMI, we go into this camera link and it sends it over Wi-Fi. We have great Wi-Fi here. So it sends it back to the hub and that goes into our switcher and everything, which we'll see in just a second. Um, and that sends it to exactly where it needs to go. So it, it all starts here, goes into the camera link and then okay. jumps over here. So the camera link sends it to the Sling Studio hub right here, right. which connects to the iPad app, which is amazing. Um, and what's the iPad app called? Just so Sling this Studio. is, yeah, I think it's called... Sling yes. Studio, okay. Yeah, Sling Studio, there you go. So it's all it's all connected. Um, and right now to, to talk about, I guess, like the, the sends and everything, we've got obviously the, the program signal coming from the camera into here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the line in coming from the board into the back of that as well. It records you do to- that by taking all your lines to a bus and then running that yeah, bus. Yeah, so we program. run a, a bus dedicated to our live stream. On um, the X32. Yep, and we're able to- Back to this unit here. Mm -hmm. And okay. it goes uh, eighth inch in into here. And everything records- Really? The great thing about this is, yeah, so, it all comes into this and then you're able to record and broadcast at the same time. So nice. recording goes to an SD card, which is very, very handy because it makes it really, really great. There's also a, um, an Ill no, not Illustrator, Premiere Pro um, extension that you can get to oh, work nice. with the Sling Studio yeah. thing. So it brings everything in. Um, if you've got multiple sources, you can record each one of those independently and it's great. Um, so everything is saved to an SD card with here, but we also broadcast it right now. Last week was our first broadcast uh, Sunday, which is amazing. Right now we're doing just our middle service, our 10 a.m. service um, and no worship. So what we're doing to kind of give you a little bit of a view with it. So I've got one of my sources set to be um, just this generic video, which I'll throw this lower third away for now. Uh, this screen is the cheat screen for our live stream and foyer. So we don't okay. have to have somebody click it and then run into the foyer and then run back and then all this stuff. So <laughs> of course, troubleshooting is easy here, yeah. yeah. And so right before we, or when we go live, we start with this. And so this lets people know, hey, we're gonna be starting pretty soon. It's got some nice music behind it. It's just kind of doing what it does. And um, it's actually a video. It's just not set to loop right now, but that's the cool part about this. You can actually set videos to loop. And so it'll play this and that'll kind of be doing its thing. And then we go to the message. Uh, we'll just drag over our source to this and then they're able to see it's got a nice crossfade with it. And just for the sake of fun, we'll do that. Um, and again, it's the master control module. So we start with, we only have one operator that clicks it and then he's controlling it for two. So, and then the, somebody's operating this. They don't, they, yeah. So our service producer is the one who switches over all these sources okay. um, and he starts the recording, he starts the broadcast. Gotcha. And so and then you have a representer operator yep. as well. And yeah. representer is also going to here. Mm -hmm. as well as. Yeah, there's an HDMI. There's a ton of ins um, on the, on back, the of back of the hub, yeah, that you, yeah. you put into and everything. And so 
all of that goes, and we've, we've got it set up with the master control module to where for worship, um, we click on the slides or whatever, and we set up a, just a black background to go behind the words. Okay. Uh, so that they're able to see the actual words under the people. So again, this is what's in our ready room for the band and speakers that are about to go on stage. So they're able to see what's going on live in the room. It also goes to our live stream and it's in the foyer for people yeah. with kids check in that are just walking in the door. They're able to see what's going on with all of that. And you're running from your switcher to all of your TVs in the foyer and everything? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so uh, six? it is going from each one of the sources goes into this switcher down here, Yeah. which is a uh, Kramer, this is VS48HM. So it comes out of here with all of our incredible outputs. <laughs> and then we actually have so many, we have nine. So I've actually got one that's kind of splitting the HDMI okay, signal, which is, gotcha. we're cheating a lot, but it's great, it works. That's all right. And so we hold our breath. Um, but yeah, each one is sent over, a cat six it's extended with with one of these transmitters and then the receiver the, what brand is the transmitter that you're using is there a binary i okay. believe we got this from amazon as well but yeah um and then you're switching it back to hdmi when you get to the tv yes. with the binary yeah it converts it right back over gotcha. and so that's what all of those signals will go to very nice and that's how you get to see it that's awesome man well that's a really cool live stream setup i've never uh Never got these. It's very, very simple. I think we paid, we got the middle kind of tier for Sling Studios, you know, whatever. So we got like a backpack, which we've used twice, um, but two of the camera links. So we've got multiple options. We can grow and get a second camera with that. Yeah. Um, but it was very affordable for what we wanted to do. Do you remember roughly what the price was? 20. 500 possibly not bad. or just under 3000 but I mean when you think about it, it's our video switcher and our broadcast tool and our recording thing that's, that's pretty cool it was it's a no-brainer for us and then your those cameras run about what a thousand I think I paid a, just under a thousand for that one yeah. yeah okay Black Friday deals that's right that's cool man so, so yeah so for about what, what would you say definitely under four thousand dollars oh yeah you have not only live streaming mm -hmm. Are you live streaming the Facebook and YouTube at so the same time? So no, I'm pretty sure, I haven't, you know, dived too deep into that, but I'm pretty sure you're limited with where you can broadcast to. I think it may just be one or the other or something. Oh, okay, one or the other. But so for us, okay. yeah, we're able to broadcast to Facebook for what we want, and we're able to record the full message to have available on YouTube, but we also were able to take that full message, edit it down into about a minute clip, and then post that on socials that sends them back to the YouTube. So it's all, you can get a lot from yeah. one thing right That's there. That's pretty so. cool. And uh, the $250 stand, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I love that stand. Love it. It's the best. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, absolutely.